hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we are going to talk about dipnoi origin and classification part first dipnoi di means double noi means breath hence double breathers also known as lung fishes is one of the most interesting class of bony fishes which bears close affinity to teleost on one hand and the amphibians on the other hand the dipnoi are a group of sarcopterygian fishes are commonly known as the lung fishes their lung is a modified swim bladder which in most fish is used for buoyancy in swimming but in the lung fishes also absorb oxygen and removes wastes modern lung fishes in africa and south america survive when their pools dry up by burrowing into the mud and sealing themselves within a mucus lined burrow during this time they breathe air through their swim bladder instead of their gills and reduce their metabolic rate dramatically now origin this fish is arose in the mid devonian and flourished during the permian and triassic Fossilized lung fishes burrow of gnathorhiza have been found in rock as old as the permian with the lung fishes still inside and older burrows are known from the carboniferous and devonian the oldest fossil dip known is diabolic this from the lower devonian of yunnan china it is not clear whether this fish was marine or lived in fresh water like modern lung fishes but both marine and fresh water fossils of other groups are known now distribution two fossils form are dipterus from devonian period and ceratotus from triassic period but the modern lung fishes show discontinuous distribution it is commonly called as nile lung fishes or african lung fishes lepidosiren is found in river amazon and parag basin in south america dipnoi are represented by three geographical isolated genera occurring in tropical subtropical freshwater habitats these are neo ceratodus of southeastern queensland australia protopterus in swamps and rivers of africa and lepidosiren in swampy marshes of south america now key characters presence of single dorsal fin pair fins are flashy by serial two pairs of nostril present anterior and posterior presence of cloaca teeth absent pair of crushing tooth plates presence of lung heart three chambered two auricles and one ventricle notochord is unconstructed and lack the centra autostylic jaw suspension that is palato quadrate fused to cranium both pre maxilla and maxilla absent now classification of fishes super class gnathostomata divided into two classes that is chondrichthys and osteichthys chondrichthys divided into two sub class that is lesmobranchii and holocephali osteichthys divided into two sub class that is actinopterygii and sarcopterygii sarcopterygii divided into two super orders crossopterygii and dipnoi dipnoi divided into two orders ceratodontiformes belongs to family ceratodontidae for example neoceratodus 
and order Lepidosiriniformis belongs to family Lepidosirenidae. Example Lepidosiren and family Protopteridae. Example Protopterus. On the nature of lung, class Dipnoi divided into two orders. Mononeumona that is single lung is present. Example Neoceratodus. Dineumona presence of bilobed lungs. For example Lepidosiren and Protopterus. Now fossil Dipnoans. Dipterus is the fossil Dipnoan of Devonian. It had long body, lobed fin, heterocircle tail, thick cosmoid scales, and well ossified skull. It resembled osteolapids, the primitive crossopterygians. End of the Devonian, Dipterus underwent the changes which resembled to the osteolapids. Body became shorter tail became diaphysical and scale lost their shiny surface layer and became thin. Thus, Ceratodus, a fossil form of Mesozoic era, it had a continuous distribution. This is evident from the occurrence of fossilized tooth plates found in England, Germany, South Africa and India. The modern Australian lung fishes, Neoceratodus, is a direct descendant of Ceratodus. Modern lung fishes. There are only three surviving genera of Dipnoi and show discontinuous distribution in southern hemisphere. Neoceratodus found in river and pools of Australia. Lepidosiren is found in swampy marshes of South America. Protopterus found in swamps and river of Africa. The discontinuous distribution of lung fishes is supportive for the theory of continental drift. Now, first of all, we discuss Neoceratodus resemble very closely to fossil from Ceratodus. It has undergone very little changes during nearly 300 million years. It is described as living fossil, lives only in Burnett and Mary Rivers in Queensland, Australia. Length about 1 to 5 feet, weight up to 10 kg, Body is fusiform and covered with large cycloid scales. Paired fin that is pectoral and pelvic fin are biserial lobe fins, archaeopterygian type. Dorsal and anal fins are confluent with diaphysical fin. It has five gill arches. Gills are well developed and exclusively used as respiration. Single lung is used only when stressed. During pulmonary respiration, it makes a peculiar grunting sound by forcible expulsion of air from the mouth. It does not undergo estivation, leaves in water throughout the year and when removed water it soon die. Feed upon small larvae, crustacean, mollusk and the worms. Spawning during September and October, egg laid among the aquatic plants and sink to the bottom. Larva without external gills, there is no metamorphosis, only existing species is Neoceratodus, commonly known as Burnet Salmon. Now, Lepidosiren. 
only existing species showing following features it lives in the river amazon and its tributaries in tropical south america 4 feet long eel like body is covered with cycloid scales it is sluggish and moves slowly at the bottom of swamps paired fins are vestigial and filamentous pelvic fin transform into accessory water breathing organs their feather like margins is rich in blood capillaries and functions much like a pair of gills dorsal and anal fin long and are confluent with diphycercal fin it has only four gill arches gills are almost degenerate and play role in respiration therefore respiration is largely by aerial breathing through the lungs it feed mainly on snail ampullaria but some plant material also consumed it undergoes aestivation that is summer slip during rainy season it feed voraciously and stores up fats between its muscles and around the gut during drought the fish buries itself in the mud and becomes dormant lepidosiren is oviparous the eggs are laid in the nest which has the shape of vertical tunnel about a feet deep base of the nest become horizontal and total length varies 2 to 5 feet the male guard the nest the pelvic fin of male become enlarged and cover over highly vascular filaments it is believed that such vascular filaments are capable of releasing oxygen into surrounding water to keep it suitable for the developing eggs and larvae larva possesses four pair of external gills and a cement organ after some time larva undergoes metamorphosis and gills and cement organ disappears adult lepidosiren is edible fish also now protopterus greek word pro means first in front or pteron means wings or fin is a large lung fish 6 to 7 feet length lives in a marshy places near river carnivores feed on worms insect crustaceans and frogs protopterus has an elongated eel like body covered with small cycloid scales and pair fins are long and filamentous vestigial dorsal and anal fins are confluent with diphycercal fin it has five gill arches gills are less degenerate anterior gill arch is devoid of gill, gill filaments lung is double this fish respire by gill as well as by lungs and frequently rises to the surface to inhales air the trunk with 34 to 37 ribs is a bit longer and the tail is a bit shorter compared to protopterus found in marginal swamp backwater of river and lakes it is associated strongly with life of aquatic plant in terms of breeding and feeding ecologies nests are made in weedy areas it normally lives on flood plains and when this dry up during the dry season it digs a hole in mud it secretes a thin slime around itself which dries into a fragile cocoon it can exist in this state for over a year although normally it hibernates only from the end of one wet season to the start of the next 
for hibernating the fish literally chews its way into the substrate ejecting mud out of its gill opening the lung fishes wriggle around thereby hollowing out a bulb shaped chamber and coming to rest with its nose pointing upward they breathe air at the mouth of the chamber tube and then sink back into the expanded part of the chamber also under aquatic condition this lungfish can survive more than 3 and 1/2 years of starvation spawning test takes place during rainy season egg laid on bottom of the nest constructed by male male guard the nest containing egg and larvae hatching takes place on eighth day larva contains cement material for attachment four pair gills and two pair limbs for protection change of color darker during day and transparent during night after metamorphosis gill degenerate after one and half month it also an edible fish hope that enjoy the lecture thanks for watching